All right, so by now you guys know that version 10 of Tesla software is out and it brings lots of cool features and improvements, but I feel like nobody is talking about how big of a deal this is for those who own the standard range or standard range plus models. We're now getting lots of the creature comforts of the premium interior for the price of the partial premium interior. Of course, there are caveats and there are strings attached, but let me show you guys all the cool new features now available to those Model 3 owners that we didn't get before. All right, so this is not going to be some kind of full walkthrough on everything version 10 can do, but I just kind of want to show you guys some of the biggest features now available in the standard range and standard range plus models. I guess really it's the partial premium interior. So first things first, if we jump in here to kind of our apps, uh, we now have a full blown web browser. This is something again, only on the higher end models. I'm going to pull up just my website here for a shameless plug and demonstrational purposes. But we have a pretty full featured web browser that can do most things. I mean, if you're in your car, you're probably gonna wanna go to Google and look up uh, restaurant hours and locations or pull up Yelp or something like that. And it works for that quite well. It doesn't have codecs in it to playback video with audio, so you can't run Plex through this, for example. You can't actually run it through the YouTube app, but that's a whole separate thing. There is no way to really get streaming video on here, but it does work as a pretty great and full-featured web browser for all of your, you know, web browsing needs. If you wanted to, you know, say pull up Yelp and you wanted to look up uh, restaurant information, you could do that on here and not have to use your phone. Kind of nice to have. Again, it was only available for those higher end trims, but now it's here and very simple to use. This is all, by the way, let me just mention it's running off of LTE. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later as far as uh, if that's going to stay in this version or not. But for now, uh, at least the time of this recording, it's all working on LTE. It's pretty responsive. Multi-touch is supported and that works out quite well. So the web browser is there. Uh, so the next big thing is going to be streaming. I think that's the big thing with this update is uh, all these streaming options we now have as well, of course, as uh, we have Spotify. So if we jump in here to uh, music here, I'm going to come up here and pull this open. We get all these new options here at the bottom. So one kind of caveat to all of this is technically with these partial premium interiors, though these features are included and right now working over LTE, Tesla says that in a software update or at some point coming soon, we can presume they will no longer be working over LTE and it will be working only over Wi-Fi. That was in the release notes that Spotify is here, but it's only going to be limited to uh, a Wi-Fi hotspot. That's also probably going to be the case for Netflix and Hulu and YouTube and probably these other streaming services as well. So they are here as a permanent fixture, at least for now, to the software update for these cars. But right now I'm on LTE. That's probably not going to be the case in the future, but now we can enjoy this streaming over LTE. All right, so that caveat out of the way, we now have more features than we did before. We just used to have radio, we would have phone, and then we'd have this any music little search thing here that wouldn't really do anything. So if you go back to my previous videos, here's an example here I'll show on the screen. I could type in Mumford and Sons and it would show me nothing. Now I can actually use this to type in Mumford and Sons and it actually is going to give me some results. So see, it'll pull up things, it'll show me albums, and it'll actually give me appropriate responses and launch those responses in their respective apps. So if I want to play back, let's see this Babel album from Mumford, it'll actually launch that in Spotify, which is super cool to see. Uh, so these search here, uh, these results are contextual and you can search with podcasts, you can search stations, uh, karaoke, different things. This is fully functional, does work, uh, where before it just didn't work at all because there was no streaming capability in the standard range version. Uh, so let's jump out of that. Of course, uh, the big one here is Spotify that does work really well. Again, I'm not going to show you guys every demo, but I can you know, show you here like my library. I can see songs and playlists. I can see featured playlists. Uh, I can go to genres and moods and releases. Uh, and just to show you this works, I can tap on, uh, let's go here to featured playlists. I want to listen to good vibes. I can tap on that. I can just hit, you know, Sunday best and I can start playing music. So just to show you, it does work. It works in over LT. I will say it works really well. Uh, some people were complaining about quality and that it didn't sound really good. I have had zero issues with quality. It sounds pretty good to me. 
uh, nothing on my part that I noticed in terms of quality. It sounds really good uh, in this audio system and in this car as well. Uh, so that's Spotify. No podcast support as of yet, but you have pretty much your full featured Spotify here. Uh, so that's there and that's kind of available to everyone. New to us in the standard range versions, we now have TuneIn and Slacker. So TuneIn is kind of like a catch-all for podcasts. I have, shameless plug, my daily podcast here called The Daily Bite. If I wanted to listen to this podcast, I could pick you know, the most recent episode, tap on it and start playing. This is The Daily Bite. I'm Robert Rosen. So it'll play back podcasts. I could add this as a favorite. I could skip forward or back in 15 second intervals. And it's kind of cool to have a full functional podcast player. Cool thing about uh, TuneIn as well is you can actually sign into your account and then you can have your app on your phone and have the desktop version and then sync your podcast back and forth. So if you're in the car, you're listening, you can step out, you head to the gym, start the app on your phone and play it back. It'll all sync uh, back and forth, which is pretty cool to see. Um, and that is TuneIn. It's a fully functional podcast platform uh, and you can listen to podcasts and other things like that, local radio, music, podcasts, all that stuff, mainly podcasts. Uh, and that's on here and fully functional. Also, under the streaming tab, we now have Stitcher Radio. Again, this was only limited to the higher-end trims. It's now here. It's fully functional. It works. If I wanted to listen to um, owner Tesla owner's favorites, you can tap on that and it would work. Um, something to note about this, though, is it, it's streaming, and it's kind of a little bit more like Pandora than a traditional radio station, so I can't adjust this scrubber. I can't go back. I can go forward. I can give a thumbs up or a thumbs down, but it's more like a more like a, a radio station more than anything else. I can't really adjust it. It's not like Spotify. Also, uh, important to mention, a Spotify premium account is uh, required to get Spotify working in your Model 3. So another update I want to talk about is with this phone portion. There is now technically a higher fidelity audio stream going from your phone to the car, as well as better album art support. So if I was to switch between these different albums here in Spotify on my phone, it would catch those album artworks a little bit better on the car. This did work before, but it was just very inconsistent. It's now better. And if you just want to stream from different apps on your phone, your car is now capable of finding those album artworks and displaying it on here as well. Uh, so that's kind of it for streaming. You have a lot more settings here to play with, a lot more sources. If we do jump into settings real quick, I'll show you there's not a whole lot different. Immersive sound, that feature is still there for a standard range plus. You do have the option to turn on DJ commentary, explicit content, and mobile controls there as well. Nothing else in terms of balance or tone. These are all still the same. A uh, couple other options in there. This is because of Slacker and TuneIn, so kind of cool to see but not much else in there as well. No more options, just, you know, immersive sound and your regular audio balance. Another update is in the maps. So unfortunately, we still don't have any kind of live traffic or satellite view that is just not an option in our maps, but we do have the ability like other cars to now tap and get information on a specific place. So if I go down here, let's say I wanna go back down by the beach as this loads up, I wanna find a place. Let's say I wanna to go to this park. I now have the ability not only to tap on the park and get some more information, but I'm also able to get directions. I can go to the website. Let's say if I go here, I can get a uh, website information. I can call this place and get directions. So if I wanted to navigate here, I could just tap on that and get directions, add it as a favorite, and not have to fumble around and put the address in manually. Small little update, but very cool to see come to the Model 3. I can't wrap up this version 10 video without showing off some kind of streaming. Uh, so I will show you here in entertainment, we now have more options. There is Cuphead Now, uh, kind of building out this wide variety of games in the Tesla arcade on your car, which is super cool. But also there is some new stuff in theater now. Netflix, YouTube, Tesla tutorials, and Hulu. Super awesome. Like I said, right now, at least at the time of this filming, all streaming over LTE. So I can show you here what Netflix would look like. Uh, apologize for the air bubbles if you can see them. I need to really get a new screw protector. Um, so I can't actually play any of this without getting some kind of copyright strike, but I can show you all this is loading over LTE and works extremely well. Looks gorgeous on this display. The colors look really great. Um, blacks are very black. Uh, everything looks great. The UI is really, really nicely laid out. It kind of looks like anything like on a smart TV or an iPad. And then to get out of this, 
it's a little inconsistent. You have to kind of have to tap, tap the top. You get like this HUD where you can kind of um, have some controls for brightness, um, volume, air, sorry, volume, air, and then to exit. So if I tap on here, I want to exit and get out and I can show you uh, YouTube. So I can't show you Netflix without a copyright claim, but I can show you something on YouTube. So if I wanted to go on YouTube here, like I said, loads pretty fast. I can sign into my account. Let's just search for my channel here because that is what I can show without getting any kind of strike. And everything works out pretty well. So it loads pretty fast. I can, let's say, watch this video. And if you've heard anything about Tesla's, you probably already heard about the sentry mode and dash cam feature little bit as well. of basically a little bit of a stuttering there but it's pretty good over the lte connection and this is like again like a full featured youtube uh player and even web page it just kind of just seems like it's like a browser window locked to youtube so i can come down here i can give it a thumbs up if i was signed in i could subscribe if i was signed in which i will definitely do um, I can view other videos. I can see the comments. There's a lot I can do here on the page. And as you can see, it definitely wants me to sign in, which you definitely would want to do to if take you've advantage heard about Tesla's, you've... to take advantage of YouTube. And I can tell myself to stop talking because it's just it's super cool. making this a little annoying. Uh, I have full screen control. I can turn on captions. I can adjust, uh, you know, streaming. So this is, let's say I want to go all the way up to 2160p over Tesla's LTE. Let's do it and it works cool, pretty well. Super useful, and it's really easy to get set up. You just need a flash drive, a Windows or a Mac, and about five minutes of your time. Let me show you. Um, I will say that I haven't used this a whole lot, but just the sound is really great, even as a wonderful freeze frame. Even in this partial premium interior with not the full blown sound system, it sounds really good. Content sounds immersive. Uh, it gets loud. Uh, you basically get, you know, as cheesy as it sounds, this full, movie theater experience in your car, which is just crazy, uh, but it works. And like I said, it works quite well. Like I said, there are a lot of other updates here to uh, things like autopilot and visualization and just lots of other cool things in version 10. But I just kind of wanted to show off the big stuff that applied to those in the lower end models of the standard range and standard range plus. Uh, and I'm, like I said, as an owner of a Santa Range Plus, I'm super happy I now get the web browser. I now get all these new streaming options with TuneIn and Slacker uh, and Spotify. It's just super cool to have all these new features in this car for free. And the car is just going to keep getting updates, keep getting better. And it's super cool to see all these new things come to all Model 3s. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I've got more videos coming soon, including my uh, kind of experience living with the Standard Range Plus without a home charger. Also kind of a five month check in on how I feel about the car uh, since I took delivery of it five months ago. Some cool accessories I found and a whole lot more. So stay tuned to the channel for that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video coming soon.